What's up? What's up? I had a few people hit me up on Facebook. Uh, two people, two females that I know was talking about fake friends and stuff like that. And I'm responding to y'all on this because I don't text as fast as y'all. Because <laughs> I told somebody before at the church about a year ago the same thing. I'm going to put in a sports analogy because you can do sports analogies that mirror life. You know, the way you practice is the way you're going to play. What you do in the dark, it'll slip out in the light. You feel what I'm saying? Because <laughs> you, you set in the pattern. Listen, everybody done had that in their life, you know, uh, someone who you thought was on your team and wasn't. You know, I'm not talking to one in particular person by no means because it's just been people down the road. Uh, not extra serious, some is serious. But everybody, and I get this from Glen Hills, and this is example from Lincoln. Everybody that's sitting over there with a jersey on that matches your school, this for the pros, hockey, baseball, anything. Just because they're on your team side over there don't mean they're for you. Deep down, if 95, 98% are for you, want you to make every shot, free throw, every kick, every pass, every puck or whatever, it's going to be them 3 to 5% that want you to miss every single one of them. But you turn around, they clapping for you. Yeah, yeah, they're clapping for you. Yeah, go, go, go. But deep down, they want you to miss every shot, get dunked on, shots blocked, everything. They just that scandalous, okay? Don't get it twisted because they're wearing that uniform. Now, most of the people are not going to go through all that. If they support you, they support you. They're not going to go through all them charades. But you got them charlatans that will wear that uniform and play that role. Okay, even see you in, on campus or the school or whatever, pat you on the back. Can't let everybody pat you on the back. They get you used to, so you won't see that knife coming. That's why I don't let too many people walk up and put their hands on me. You shake my hand, but you don't got to be putting your hands on me. I'm not paranoid. It's just that a man shouldn't be touching me unless he give me a pound and give each other a half hook. Other than that, you shouldn't be touching me, period. You shouldn't be touching a woman, so why are you touching me? You see what I'm saying? You're touching somebody else's woman that way, so why are you touching me? Uh... Real talk. That's that's that that shouldn't just be coming up and just feeling you can grab my shoulders or whatever on this is like a man deal. Okay? It can be, it can be sneaky too. Women get fake hugs, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But then you got people on the other side who you think not for you. Want their team to win. And they're supposed to want their team to win, but they want to see you get off. They want to see a good game. So they want to see you get your 25-30. They want to see him get his 25-30. They want to see a good game. I went to the Hawks game before and wanted Dominique them to win. Real talk. But I want to see Jordan get his. You feel what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. You want to see both of them succeed. I want to see Bird them get theirs. And, and, and uh, Kevin McHale, Robert Parrish, all them, Dennis Johnson, all them get theirs. You know, because you want a good game. Nothing personal. But you want your team to win. You feel me? And that's just what it's like. You know, so... Just be careful. You know, everybody wearing your, your, your team logo, and I say all these athletes, uh, real talk, you know. The fans love you and love you until you don't agree with them on Trump or the national anthem on something else. Just, just something minute. If you don't agree with most people, they don't know how to separate, you know, stuff and just, just be a fan. Just be a fan. Real talk. With that, I'm out. Peace.